נחזור. Oh, this is episode number one. Welcome to the Hot Kitchen of Yazol podcast. We are the three amigos, your story chefs on duty, cooking you some of the hottest stories from out there. Gisad Sukum, and now introducing uh, to you, straight out of Vancouver, Canada, the big man, Zol Kebir, on the wheels of steel. Please welcome DJ Bakumba. Bakumba said him now, Sir Yazol. Assalamu alaikum, Yama. How are you guys? Bakumba here. Okay. Yeah. Another Zol Kebir on the wheels of steel, the Mokoto. Please welcome, for the first time on your Zol podcast, DJ Michael A. Salam Tarun Kulu. Yeah, first time I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, DJ Michael A. I'm gonna get you straight from Edmonton. So, shukran. Okay, you're welcome. And I am the chef on the grill, the DCE, Sultan of Small London, Zol Kebir Musuran Selik. So, welcome. Coming up today on your Zol podcast, uh, yeah. the highlights. From South Sudan, Garang Mabil lost his school at the late comrade's funeral. What happened? In Western Equatoria, remember the man who was wrongly dismissed from the post of commissioner in Iba County? Well, he is now threatening to go to court. In sports, Almerik Bentiu were eliminated from the African Champions League. What went wrong in Nairobi? Plus, in Eastern Equatoria, a local man has committed suicide in police custody in Budi County. From the African continent, the 91-year-old president of Cameroon will contest for term number eight in office, elections coming up next year. And the East African community single currency is not coming out soon. Wait until 2031. On the international scene, Cristiano Ronaldo breaks records after opening his first YouTube channel. Oamul Gurushketir, so you guys will hear the story. A king from Ghana is now a farmer in Canada. What happened? An American man fakes death to avoid paying child support. And finally, a doctor in Florida performed a colonoscopy on a screaming and sedated man. The man do Lulu as well. I can hear someone asking me what is a colonoscopy, but you know, I have the definition for you. So all these stories are coming up on Yazol podcast, the buzzing talk, Gisad Soko. Okay, let's go to our first story from South Sudan. Garang Mabil goes viral. Veteran SPLA General Garang Mabil lost his school at the funeral of the late comrade Bio Raswet in Juba. At one point, he landed some angry blows on the podium. The general was visibly angry because of issues ranging from governance to the plight of all veterans, the church and land. <laughs> You should ask them. The cocktail from where and where even young children are there. It is not Nisa. I don't care what you do. The man is not Nisa. Wait, wait, wait. Not Nisa. I don't care what you do. Not the Arab Jews of Sudan. Not the Arab Jews of Sudan. The preaching of tribalism is in the churches. You are the one who destroys Southern Sudan in the uniform and not to be a Buna and Kola and Kola be a Buna. Huh? <laughs> Echoing Garang Mabil's remarks, many South Sudanese online expressed their frustrations about the state of affairs in the country, including Professor Jok Madut Jok, who wrote this on his Facebook page. I will read a few lines here. The noise that liberators are making these days about being marginalized or about corruption in the NCPLM is important to hear. I'm quite controversial in a way to say NCPLM. Uh, Yajama. This story seems to be getting people wild on the internet. What did you guys think? Bakumba, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I think actually saw, I saw that clip of the, uh, of, of the, of the general. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. is, he, is he a retired general or active general? I'm not too sure. No, he's, he's, he's retired, yeah. He's retired general, yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, so I, saw, I, I saw his uh, speech and his pain, you mm. know, his anger of uh, the neglect of the, you know, the, the neglect obviously started from uh, <clears throat> with, the, with those with those who who perceived to have fought in the liberation war in the bushes, mm. who who are already languishing in poverty somewhere in Juba because of the because of the other guys who joined and took over everything. So it's the anger of the veterans that uh, veterans who have always suffered for for so many years. 
and mm. then <clears throat> echoing my, 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 my good job, he was also referring to the, the, the I think, <clears throat> if I'm not wrong, he was, uh, he was alluding to the fact that some of those guys are great babies too. When they were when, when they were in power, nobody was saying anything. But mm. as they went, they were, when those NCP guys came, and now they, so, so many of the position has been taken, uh, they, 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 the government has sidelined most of them, that's, and then they, now they are coming to cry. While the citizens were all suffering, nobody was saying anything. So, so that's, the, that's the issue. But I think he, he expressed the pain of the country. He said that's mm. also pain of the nation. The failure of the system that does not take care of the citizens including those who are the, who are supposedly supposed to be the veterans who are supposed to be respected in, in the in the in the society and people like that language in poverty you can feel the pain of that guy and it's the pain of the whole country in, mm. in, that, in that kind of system yeah. yeah yeah it's it's uh it's it's a very difficult situation especially for the veterans right almost shackled for a long time then um you you see the economic situation for belly now now most of them are not even getting me here right so somebody is bound to you know make noise about it so the general is not misplaced right well okay for my colleague yeah i think that that's a very true uh, statement that you you gave you know jamadel they fought for a very long time mm. and most of them probably spent all their lives in the in the bushes of south sudan during the war and uh, unfortunately zaman beletala the government didn't i think uh, the government might have not come up with a uh, good mod- modalities to at least like you know in, in in the overseas or abroad there should be a time limit for every person in in, in the line of duty my opinion is like mufrud people like that they should they, 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 uh, there should be like a retrenchment hour Yeah. And then these people go through pension because mm. you can't be as scary for the rest of your life and then uh, you're very old you cannot even perform anything already in the in the in the military so assuming those generals that are already very old how are they going to if there's a war really how are they going to fight will they travel those buses like they used to do in the in the SPLA remember we grew up the SPLA the Kaina we saw all those generals at the time we were very 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 young but 30 years or 35 years after what do you think those people are they really like the generals that they were before like remember those days when we see the generals we wanted to be like them because the way they dress they they look fit like they look like marines or something like that so for mm-hmm. me i just think i think like um those people should be retired and they should get their p- pension at the time but because system them are quest that's why mm. i think uh, they are they are still going through all those tribulations and stuff okay. so yeah yeah okay let's go to our second story uh-huh. detained man commits suicide in budi county eastern equatoria last monday police in budi county of eastern equatoria state said one of their detainees took his own life while in solitary confinement Two men had been detained the day before after a fight in a local bar of course Andaya Mungeni Dugumia the deceased whose name was Lomana attempted to stab a drinking buddy using a knife uh, in the camp 15 area the fight led to both men being arrested and locked up in the local police station while in the cell Lomana used his own shirt to strangle himself the body of the uh, the deceased who was 34 years old was taken down and buried by the police Mia Jekde dugu miang la doti fo badon. Bakumba. Alaro, Alaro, the Bogovi like the 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 main word the 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 solitary confinement. My 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 point concern the solitary confinement. If you you confine somebody in Budi County, can imagine what kind of jail is over there. The solitary confinement could mean it's already a hole on the ground. Maybe it's a hole, maybe it's a hole container. Yeah. It's because we don't, we don't we don't really have a building that can call proper jail over in, in those areas. So yeah. I can imagine the plight of that guy with the worry in his in, in his brain. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's thrown somewhere in a very very hot environment, or he could be he could be somewhere hidden somewhere and then he just you know frustration kicks in. And when we read the other time, the man was going to be arrested and quiz on a sort of bookam. Yeah. So like uh, I I feel for the family and I feel for the guy. 
but uh, yeah, but build, build, build through in solitary confinement in that part of the world. Solitary confinement, actually, solitary confinement could mean anything. Mm -hmm. So, so it's a sad, it's a sad scenario, and uh, yeah, I, 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 I hope they would have put it somewhere where we can sober up first before putting it somewhere else. But you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there's a lot of trauma going on. Ma, uh, ma, yeah. ma, they, they were actually drinking together, magic tiny day. And then uh, he started taking a knife and wants to stab the guy. <laughs> so, so much kill a devil, could you need a cool nose, you know? Um, uh, it's all like a combustor of my Wahid. Why would you decide to stab him? Right? That, that was the, the cause of the fight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's quite sad, but uh, may he rest in peace. It's quite yeah. unfortunate. Um, yeah. Michael, do, do you remember as, uh, the commissioner who was fired by mistake through a decree for Juba? Yeah, I heard about it. I saw some clips. I saw a little bit of, of it from uh, on Facebook, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, have, I have another story uh, about the same. Because mm. the commissioner who was fired was apparently 84-year-old uh, man. <laughs> year old man. It, actually sorry he's 85 years old he's supposed to have been the commissioner I, I i don't know what really happened how can he be 85 and still a commissioner you know but yeah so so jake that girl um is him toy about philip ayub gaza or can one of the the anyanya fighters so he felt offended that the decree was cancelled without him getting an apology. Um, <laughs> so he, he, he was unhappy and he expected an explanation. Uh, and he wants to know how his name got to the president's office. Uh -huh. the, the answer to Yabba Philip uh, Gaza came from Albino Attack Accord, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management and Secretary General of the National Congress Party in Juba. The minister said, his group is open to a sit down with Yaba, Philip Gaza, to explain the matter. The political uh, grouping to which he belongs has apologized to President Salfa Kir for the decree mistake. So basically, they are the ones who submitted the name. On the, the seventh of uh, guy, yeah, the NCP guy. Yeah, the NCP guy. <laughs> I know. I, I think it's that group because yeah. it's out of because of the agreement. There's groupings of parties, right? Yeah. 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 So they, they submitted Isimne, and then yeah. and it, the appointment was supposed to have been done a long time ago, but Mahasil. And and then in the confusion, somehow, Yaba, Yaba Philip's name came up again. But the guy who was supposed to be appointed is actually called Wilson Tetela. I don't know where the confusion came in, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so the move surprised Yaba Ayub, who said um, he's been living ordinary life, farming and serving in the church. So, oh yeah, I actually have the story. Apparently, his name was submitted by the United South African Party, no, United Sudan African Party, USAP, in 2021 for appointment as commissioner back then. So he wasn't appointed. And um, yeah, qu quite a confusion like last time he said, right? Um, Bakumba, wh what do you think should have actually happened in this case? Why don't these people think of giving Yaba Philip Nyongoro Haja Sukerkida to make him happy? Yeah, because he uh, goes, yeah, because yeah, yeah, Yaba, you know, yeah, yeah, Yaba, I, I call him, maybe he's unlike him, or maybe he's like him because at least he became famous. Nobody, nobody, no, nobody knew him. Wouldn't yeah. be talking about him. So, so as bad as that mistake happened, I think yeah. Yeah, 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 Yaba, Yaba should be, should be happy that at least, you know, he's, 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 he's trending. But I don't know if, if, if he's trending to go to court, he's, uh, maybe he's, what he's going to sue about is the problem because what are you suing about defamation? Nobody defamed you. Actually, he, his name was already there, so so, <laughs> so so I don't know what he's going to argue in the court about yeah, that. Yeah. But yeah, the, but as you put it, yes, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, the end, Yaba, Yaba, Yaba is a veteran and yeah. he's already in, 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 the, in the last age of his, his prime life. Why don't yeah. you just give Yaba something, you know, give him yeah. something so that he can continue living his peaceful life. Even yeah. if they are, yeah. Yeah, you know, just give him something and Yaba will be happy. Yeah. Um, you know, Yaba wants, you know, Haja Sukerbes to, to keep himself warm. Yeah. 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 Michael, what do you think? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> well, this this is just uh I think uh Hajad al Kulu goes back to how the system is set. Mm, because yeah. the government should have a system where everything is dis- digitized. Mm-hmm. That way you cannot fire somebody falsely because you will see the names of the ministers, the governors, or the whatever appointment that he was supposed to be appointed with. But because those things are written in paper, mm-hmm. and they probably they were digging down their papers, and then they, they found a paper that was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, that paper was submitted. So all that goes to... For me, it feels like the system doesn't have good documentation, kid and all, as an... You know that these people are from this department. Like in this part of the world, you cannot do that false firing. Well, uh, I don't know the word firing might sound so, so, so harsh. But I think uh, if you have to relieve those kind of people from their mm. positions, you should be able to go to to the digital system and see exactly what name you are you are trying to uh, trying to relieve and stuff like that. So. It's, there's a still a long way, like there's a lot of things that really yeah. need to be done mm-hmm. in so, order so to which means, fix all those problems. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So which means that they, they leave the people are just going to be released without any due process, I guess. People, you yeah. can hire them without any process, you can release yeah. without any process, because that, that's why the guessing game is going. So so it's like, yeah, they, I just wake up and say, oh, they say, so I, I just need to release the commission of EA without yeah. any due process, without any doing anything, just need to be released. So, yeah. So that that's just an example of it's just the the failing failing system that is uh, down there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's 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 quite difficult to 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 sort it out. But yeah, um, I, I think they they need to apologize to Yaba for sure. But Yaba could say his his name was defamed, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> I, yeah. Yaba, yeah. Has, I think Yaba, Yaba has some ground for defamation because yeah. he defamed Yaba by by, yeah. by removing. Him. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 by removing him falsely, and, and remember, this thing went on the media and yeah, that's yeah, a defamation yeah, yeah. of character for sure. Yeah, yeah, defamation yeah. of character, you know, yeah. emotional trauma, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. mental yeah. anguish. Yeah, yes. mental yeah. anguish. Yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah, but Abane, Osha can win Zamanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you need to go to court. Yeah, you know, for me, I don't, I don't really have a, I don't really have a problem. Uh, Nasco bar al politician them sometimes. Mm. Like you can see in the West, Nastram, as they are like in the 70s, mm. uh, Sabak, Joe Biden, yeah. mm-hmm. but if you want to be in the political larger line, yeah. then then your age really doesn't matter. As Mugabe again, Lahadi Miten, you talk about mm. all those West African presidents that gain how many years. But yeah. the thing that uh, they, they really got relieved mistakenly or their name got deselected mind to basis mm. really he, he has the right to sue yeah whoever did that through the <laughs> deformation muscular <laughs> groupings del ketir zato his name was submitted by usap you saw the spokesman speaking is from the national congress party so who is yeah. he going to sue is he going uh, to sue the government is he going to sue his collection party who is difficult yes yeah. that's true yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's confusion for sure. Uh sorry Yaba, but um feel good we already know Galta Barana. Maybe Kangal can fit the Riganas Bilimo Limonyangorogurushki that are some Yaba. Make him feel good. Yeah. You know. Uh yeah. Now you are entering dangerous territory. If you don't behave, gel the best, sort so cool, the akodita. Bakumba will crack his whip on you anytime, any day. And anyone, anything, and everyone found misbehaving in public. So, now, who is he whipping today? Let's find out. Uh, a video went viral this week in South Sudan. If you have not wow. seen it yet, of course, we have it for you. Bakumba. Maluja Madel Der Bejaleda Lela Se. Alai, alai, video de alana tala asi tibik de. Mm. 
Yeah. You'll be like, you know, you'll you be on top of that, on, on top of that, really, like, studying yeah. Fiji Jara. Yeah. I don't know, under what ground, Mookie Zoltan, Jerry Biswalka Zoltan, or Dan, or Jerry Biswalka Zoltan, and I'm not going to ask him. You yeah. remember the Duku Pandu, 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 Duku so then as a be sort of the sort. So so that could do munu this time. Be on the watch out bar and sort of bakumba maja kodita. All right. Let's go international now. Cristiano Ronaldo opens his YouTube channel and immediately breaks records. Cristiano Ronaldo reached over 42 million subscribers less than three days after opening his YouTube channel. Nobody before him, of course, had ever made 1 million subscribers in 90 minutes. He did. This is a new world record, for sure. In fact, he reached a staggering 28 million subscribers in one day. That's 24 hours. No channel in YouTube's history has ever done that. So, Cristiano Ronaldo becomes a YouTube sensation. A few videos he has posted so far has made him about 180 million views. Uh, basically, in the content creation universe, that is absolutely wild. How much money do you think he has made? Well, with almost 50 million subscribers, I will tell you. Uh, according to YouTube's monetization rate, Cristiano Ronaldo has already reached six figures in earnings. See, uh, before Cristiano Ronaldo opened his YouTube account, of course, we all know he's a big superstar. He had over $500 million in his account. So basically, he's going to get like about a million dollars or $5 million every month or so. 72 hours, $100 million. Not Zimbabwean dollars, not South Sudanese pounds, but US dollars. Grushke Tiria Maikole. Jake Deca normal sponsorship deals turn in Mabizidu Bob Debu Kun too much bigger. Mr. Beast Maslan uh, makes about $5, five million dollars every month through YouTube. So Cristiano Ronaldo is now making like a hundreds of millions of dollars for YouTube. Junubin Lisa Binum. Mahal de Foga Akil as well. Well, okay. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You know. Dunia ta, ta ya model, everything is about YouTube, Instagram, can't find the camp followers, subscribers, everybody makes the money in that kind of way. But it's possible for somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo because he is known worldwide. Yeah. Oh, he, instead of Nasbudugu Balanjat for us, Lord is a dead Mahomon Kambora for YouTube. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of content creators now, Al Shabab Delphi Africa, they come with. Some weird things, and you see, yeah. they they make those subscribers in a very short time too. Yeah. But you yeah. know, Canada because you know, I don't know. Mashakil kitir firasa tana. That's why na bezgi kutubala fishake la shake la shake la shake la shake la shake la. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, the digital world is everything nowadays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Everybody, you know, everybody knows. We all live on our phones now. Everybody's mm -hmm. connected online. The, yeah. the phone and the internet is the biggest, I mean, like, it's, it's a big, the, the hottest commodity in the market is the cell phone. Nobody can stay without it. It's like, yeah. it, 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 it's like, it's, it's like just food. It became the basic need that nobody yeah. can live without food the same way nobody can live without the cell phone. So yeah. those who know how to tap into the system, that, you know, there's, there's way more money out there. I, I, I even have a feeling the, 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 the end of live television is coming to, to an end very soon. YouTube yeah. is able to do with everything in the near future. TV yeah. might be out of the window in the next few years. So people, people like you know, probably people like Ronaldo. As long as you know, you like, 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 like say, as long as you are, you, 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 you,
it takes time to build. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's, as long as you can make it, you know, yeah, yeah. internet is the future of everything. Everything is going to be online. This is the biggest yeah. revolution on the face of this earth right now. Yeah, yeah. so it's time to you know, come in. Even if you have 100 subscribers, go for it. Support yeah. each other. Yeah, this is the future of everything. Build yourself slowly. And it's a brand. Yeah. 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 So, so ap- apart from uh, Yazol TV, Michael, eh? Mm-hmm. Which which other South Sudanese YouTuber do you actually follow or no? That's the, that's the that's the problem I didn't even mention before. You know, mm. um, Magal, um, Magal and I, and I visit him, and South Sudanese or something. I think uh, we don't we don't subscribe to our channels. We mm. don't want us. We don't want to even even um, a lot of us into in graph YouTube. Like mm. if they will not subscribe to your channel. So, right. for for you for you to find out a day, Gale like Zolde, Alela subscribe to if a channel Turkey, and then yeah. from you are from South Sudan. If you see in the West African countries, nice like like in Nigeria, yeah, they support each other, right? Yeah. yeah, they support each other. But our people, I don't think there's any area that uh, we really supported each other. Mm. Probably maybe. Zamanta the Ajadeta Olympics there like the the, the 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 national basketball team was supported at least. But yeah. a lot of people even they go, they watch, they will not they will not like it, they will not subscribe, they will not do anything. That's okay. that's the problem. That is derailing us. I, I think Bokun Mushkilatani is um Bob Yazol. You, you know with the economic times browsing over there commander bundles, right? You need to have money to buy bundles. So Marat it's a bit difficult for many people. And and I think the, the, the internet penetration in South Sudan is really, really low too. Mm-hmm. But but Shriana Salfi uh, uh anybody with a cell phone, if you can support a South Sudanese, simply subscribe. You know, it, it will put food on the table, the Zoltani, Kanofi, Bentiu, Lokan, Fi Malakal, Welefi, Raja, Welefi, Yambio, Welefi, you know, it, it will make a big difference. And then you you see, Marat Chinese they all begin invest Masida Tofi, you know, Geni Gata Sida figured on camera. And he's making money. He has like ten million subscribers. And he's making money. You know? Um even those skit makers. I know as comedians as and as uh Kiden, uh you know, all those comedians out there, all the I used to follow one South Sudanese guy who drove around in Juba. And yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a lot of opportunities for, for content creation. The more, the merrier, right? Yes. You support each other. And of course, if you're out there, make sure you sub- support Yazol TV by subscribing, sharing, and commenting on our content. Okay, let's go to sports. Uh, this is a story from Nairobi. We all remember what happened in Juba. God Mahia was beaten 1-0 by Almeric Bentiu. Then they went to Nairobi, carrying high hopes of advancing to the next round. But we all got shocked. By halftime, they were trailing the home team by three goals to one. Of course, the one goal was scored by Samuel Akinbinu. Uh, unable to stop the pressure from Gormahia, Almeric eventually lost 5-1, losing 5-2 in aggregate. Now the question is, what really went wrong in Nairobi? Because the attacking and the defending posture of Almeric was nothing. Amol Zemoya sacked it best for us now. They were clearly outwitted by a team with a lot of experience. So, the first win in Juba, uh, Bakumba, do you think it made them overconfident? Is that what happened? Or Shunu Bukun Hassel? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we already, we already knew, like, uh, Goroma here, the Kogano group. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, they have a long history, you know. They have mm. a long history of being one of the best teams. Winning, I don't know how many times in the Premier League in Kenya, they always been champions as long as I can remember, almost eight or second on the first one. So and they beat, Juba, they even beat Everton last time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They even, yeah. Yeah, they even beat that one. So, so, so I think in Juba, our, our, obviously our boys were playing at home ground, it's always an advantage. You have the mm. crowd cheering you up, you have yeah. more energy, adrenaline on your system. So, most mm. of the time, yeah, home ground can push you to see to do unimaginable things. Yeah. So, 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 so it's glad that they, 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 they showed themselves. It's a learning experience. And, mm. uh, you know, they were able to beat them at home, which is, uh, which is obviously our pride. Then yeah. when they came to Nairobi, uh, I already had the feeling it's going to be a different ball game. Because if you follow, if you follow the Nairobi match, 
it was the, the entire system of Kenyan government was present. Yeah. Yeah. The thing. yeah. The from, from, yeah. Baba, from Baba to the ministers, you know, from like like the entire system of the government was there. Yeah. I don't I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if anybody accompanied our team to Nairobi. I didn't see anybody from from mm-hmm. Sports South Sudan that. That, that that was sitting at the dais to to cheer our boys. So that also demoralizes. You know, you come to a country, you you, you come to a foreign country where the entire system of the government is there to support mm-hmm. their their own view. And, yeah. and, and then our yeah, and then our support system is I don't know where it was. So mm. yeah, it was kind of expected, but I didn't expect it to. For, I didn't expect them to to be beaten by that much. But it is what it is. The learning experience. We always uh, we, hopefully we can do better tomorrow. And hopefully somebody that you can hopefully they can get sponsors somebody to sponsor them. Because these yeah. sports, these, these, these sports without without money you can't go anywhere. If you go to yeah. Gormaya, they have tons of sponsors. Who the, so many Kenyan businesses cheap in. So we mm-hmm. also call upon the businesses, especially those any of those guys who are doing well in Juba. Come on, support the team, guys. Yeah. Support those local teams. Support our local clubs. Without yeah. money they cannot go anywhere. So that's yeah. my that's my take. Yeah. Yeah. My, my colleague, do, do you think um, what happened to the basketball team to America they, when they got scared by our boys losing by you know uh, one point uh, probably made the Kenyan government kill him as well. Jamadel Sabin, Kanan support Jamadel, they will embarrass us really, really bad. You saw what their basketball team did. So, what do you think? Yeah, I think uh, South Sudan is doing good in terms of sports. Um, but uh, I think uh, Bakumba really captured every every aspect of uh, the sports. You know, when you're playing at home, of course, uh, Shabab Del Kaman, Modisa, Shabab Sokar, and you know, you're playing in front of your girlfriends, your 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 country men, and everything. So, you know, they really played good for for Juba, mm. but sometimes, you know. As a, a soccer player, you know, your home ground, you know your field very well. Yeah. But me, I know that um, Gorma Hiade is uh, already a team that has a lot of experience and mm-hmm. they have a lot of players that are probably playing overseas. Yeah. And uh, the, 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 the companies, well, uh, the government and all the people around them support them. Like it, it about the rhino. You see the jerseys. You see the players. Physically, they like have very good background After training. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so all those things, plus playing in front of Baba, you know, you don't want to. Can can golf in Juba night? They 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 beat them by at least two three goals. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, when they came to to Kenya. It could have been something else, but it was only one goal that they really defended. Mm. That, for me, I, I know that when they come to, to Kenya, they, they were going to be wiped off. Like, but because I know the, the support that Gormaya has and all the people around them. So, yeah. Girlfriends, Del Makan, before the Jamadel in Nairobi, they would have I made things easy. You know, our people, we cannot, we cannot travel. <laughs> How are you going to travel in Juba, le, le, le Kenya? You, where are you going to get the money from? Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. those people could not follow them. That's why they didn't have a lot of support. Ile yeah. maybe yeah. Junubina around Nairobi is a Zaman Nakan Geni Nagde. Okay. Go and, and uh, yeah. attend to, to, to Kura or something like that. But for yeah. you to come from Juba, hotel, feeding for her, I don't know how many days. Yeah. It's almost it's impossible. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's impossible. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. no, no, no problem. Uh, it, but for them, especially El Marik is a learning experience, right? Because this is one of their, their first experiences. Mm-hmm. So next time they'll do better for sure. And this, it's always a learning curve. We'll get there for sure. Brazil. Okay, let's go to Cameroon. A 91-year-old President Paul Bia of Cameroon will be seeking his eighth term in office. Of course, that's next year in the elections. Cameroon's long-serving President Paul Bia is reportedly set to run for the eighth term in the 2025 presidential elections. The 91-year-old is one of the oldest and longest-serving leaders in the world. and He's been president since 1982. Even before I was born, yeah. before ascending to Cameroon's highest office, he served as the country's prime minister for seven years 
1975 to 1982 under Ahmadou Ahijo, that was the first president of Cameroon. In a controversial move, Paul Bia recently postponed the country's parliamentary elections and municipal elections until 2026, citing security concerns because of the volatile situation in the English-speaking region of Cameroon. You know, uh, the Ambazonia separatists are trying to carve out a country in that region. So they've been fighting since 2016. It, it may be convoluted, but I used to think of Cameroon as a happy place, you know, lots of soccer players, as Roger Miller, Samuel Eto, those, it never came to my mind like there would be crazy, crazy fighting and civil war going on. But yeah, just the bigger mother Tala Kaman. This is Kefia Bakumba. I hear you, Cameroon, yeah, at least, uh, Taroka Cameroon, Cameroon means that they always have that, that, that problem of English and French. Mm. And the region, the, the, the region where the English speaking and the major, which is, which are the minority and then the majority French speaking Cameroon. Yeah. So those issues have always been there, but the most surprising is this guy, man. This guy, this guy has been there forever, man. Yeah. You know, he's hitting ninety one. How do you how do you even rule a country with ninety one? What what how what what, what how what what new idea does he have after mm. being there for how many? Is it what forty years? For, yeah. Or, or, yeah. Or, or over forty years? Yeah. yeah. Over 40 that's years, like forty one. Yeah. Yeah, forty one, man. What new idea do you really have after forty one mm. years? Yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, the good thing is like Kamika, like you like you put it, Cameroon has done very well. They have hidden their problems using sports mm. as, as, yeah. as, as a marketing tool. So yeah. they, they, a lot of people do travel to Cameroon actually. They, they have a lot of tourist attraction. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. go there just because of their soccer team, because they, because because their politics nobody knows about it. Yeah. A lot of people doesn't even know there is an old man who's ninety one years old controlling a country a country where those of Ito and Roger Miller are old heroes over there who will be mm-hmm. wondering that. People will be surprised, but yeah, it is what it is. It's Africa for you, and this guy, yeah, maybe, but but yeah, we don't know what will happen. But nature, nature will do its course. Is nice one. Come on, how long did you be there for? <laughs> I, I remember one of the comedians. I don't know whether it was a comedy or some politician was saying that, where are these old men going to lead us? Are they leading us to the grave? Well, uh, where are they leading us? <laughs> because <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it is. They're, they're yeah. not leading us anywhere because there are a lot of people, but they feel like, you know, if they get out of power, mm-hmm. maybe nobody will will manage the country like they are. Yeah. I just wish those footballers, somebody can also just, uh, you know, get up and stand. Like, you know, <clears throat> you have an example of in. Liberia, George George Wire tried, right? He, yeah, he yeah. was able to rule for what was it, one term, even though he lost yeah. the election, but he yeah. left power yeah. still. That's a good thing. The, the mm-hmm. Liberian democracy, despite their poverty, the democracy is moving forward. Yeah. And uh, yeah. those kind of people. So we hope that one day, you know, change will come to Cameroon too and other African countries where dictators are there for life. Yeah. yeah. As long as so, that change comes fe- uh, peacefully, you know, it's, it's yeah. always difficult when it comes with the gun and all that. Yes. Enough enough Africans have died. So let them do it peacefully next year. If the old man wins, so be it. But let the country be peaceful. You know? Yeah. That's all. So let's go to Tanzania. This is a story about the East African community single currency, which was supposed to have come out last year. Um, but of course, it's not coming out anymore until 2031. Uh, ESC member states, which include South Sudan, signed their protocol to from the East African Community Monetary Fund, uh, Union in November 2013. The protocol laid the groundwork for a monetary union within 10 years, allowing the EAC member states to progressively converge all their currencies into one single currency in the region. Of course, inside, no currency so far. But it was reported that the East African Community Secretary General, Veronica Mweni Nduva, said that the process has been pushed forward she was speaking during a roundtable meeting of the East African Business Council and the East African Secretariat uh, members. A single currency in the region, of course, could save South Sudan pound because of the situation, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what do you think? Is it a good idea, actually, to go for the single currency or the South Sudanese economy is too weak? So when we have a, a single currency in the region, South Sudan will be swallowed and will be poor forever and ever. Bakumba, what do you think? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I, think I, I think 
uh, I think the, you know if you look at the history of uh, the common currencies, like um, uh, it depends. Like the euro. Uh, yeah, like the, the euro. You obviously, if you look at the euro, you need mm. you need to have something some at least some similarity or some equal level of development. That that that, that the, 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 it's, it's not really there's no disparity that much. Mm. You know, Europe, Europe, you know, Europe, but Europe, they are mostly, you look at their development model or whatever, even their government system of government, they are, they're almost similar in certain ways. So, mm. and, 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 and so, so, so economic wise, they're almost similar. So nobody gets you out of it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that if you have to keep, if you have to, if, if, if you have to join this monetary fund in South Sudan, I don't know how you're going to be able to survive. I really doubt I'm gonna be able to survive because because yeah. because right now we are we, we, in in terms of production in terms of uh, in, in 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 terms of economic activity probably yeah. if we measure all those countries I think we might end up in the poorest section apart from Burundi maybe maybe the only yeah. people who can really find the only Burundi but yeah. I, I cannot imagine situation where you're going to compete against Tanzania or against Kenya with those big economies those are massive economies that can easily yeah. swallow us like. We, 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 we like, 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 no tomorrow. So I hope that one day, you know, we can be able to join the monetary fund. But we need to, we need to be able to develop our economy. We need yeah. to be able to grow our economy. Right now, we don't have any means of production. We are not producing anything. We're like yeah. zero. We are, we are importing crude in Bania, I think, even now, yeah. for tomatoes from everywhere. So we are, yeah. we are not producing anything the, apart from our oil, which is been sent. I don't know where the money is going to. So, so I I hope they delay it more. The, the more they delay, always for me, I, said, I think the better. But that's the, the only means for us to survive is to go to go, we need to grow ourselves first before we even start competing with Uganda. Uganda, our yeah. next door neighbor. There. Well, actually, yeah. Uganda is almost swallowing us anyway economically. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so those are the things. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. Take. It's, mm. it's 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 very difficult. In terms, I don't know the the economic policies in South Sudan, but you know when we got independence. The South Sudanese pound was the strongest in the region, which was a good start. Yeah. See, see what, what Dubai did was to take the oil money and invest it to develop the country, build like yeah. tourism, build real estate and things like that. Yeah. So that should have been done in South Sudan. But then we took up guns and started shooting each other and, you know, basically forgot about it. Anyway, let's go international. This is a story from America. American man fakes death to avoid paying child support. Michael, let asthma. <laughs> These are funny. An American man has been jailed after faking his own death in a bid to avoid paying child support. Prosecutor said Jesse Kiff, who was di uh, divorced in 2008, used the login details of a doctor to register himself as deceased in Hawaii. Jesse Kiff, 39, from Somerset, Kentucky, was sentenced to nine years in prison for computer fraud and aggravated identity theft. On out, and uh, he attempted to skip uh, outstanding child support obligations. After registering himself as a dead person in the government database, he also accessed uh, state registry systems and private networks using credentials stolen from real people and uh, attempted to sell all that information on the dark web. He pleaded guilty to the charges and he has been ordered to pay 195,000 US dollars in damages and all the amount of the remaining child support money. <laughs> Jack D. Jerry, <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. 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 Don't, don't let's I don't know how you So he must be a computer, he must be a computer geek somehow. Maybe yeah, he, he somehow. must have tried. Yeah. 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 The way you were able to log to, to be able to actually log into those registry system, change stuff. Even not yeah. to his own information, kill himself. You, see, uh, you know, like this, this, this guy, this guy, is, this guy is right, man. This guy yeah. is right. Yeah. I, I think the story says he's um he's a veteran from the army too. He was deployed in Iraq or Afghanistan, something like that. Mm. Then yeah. Marato divorce so so zama no rija menagde kalaso kafar gala amenana bora tifu badun officially. So he went and registered himself dead to yeah. go under the covers. Yeah. Michael, what do you think? Some people who are outside, outside of this West World country, you guys are already there. He, mm. Here, we're talking, we're telling the man, here, when you live in any developed 
developed world and uh, not even developed world, even some other countries, including some African countries, now have that system on charge yeah. for the Canadian team to jail. So, it can have a little bit as well. Come on, the Jozu. Biera, my name belongs to you. You must support that team no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, it's a responsibility. You go around, you, you go around, you play, you must yeah. pay a price because Mara, Mara, Mara cannot suffer alone. Yeah, yeah. You, you, guys, you guys enjoy yourself together, so you you, you have to enjoy raising the kid together just for information yeah. purposes. That's what chance, that's what chance support is. <laughs> yeah. The, the, yeah. You know, the, the, the other day Tyrese was crying because he do command Bokalobi Dafa, the child support day. He's really shedding real tears, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's not really easy to get a child support day, mm. but uh, I think uh, somebody like this one, I don't know how he actually manipulated the system. Maybe Zamanov, he, he just said he, 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 he has some passwords to, to the data system to, for him to kill himself and, okay. avoid, and avoid the child support. But sometimes, sometimes like, you know, I think um, I, I read somewhere mm. back in the 1960s, I think from 1960 or well, 1946, after, mm. the, after the World War. Yeah. Actually, men, they used to give men the, the, the responsibility that, yeah, they know Alasa, they, they, anything happened between Tank Ferdinand, Mamara, Taki, or Letang Rafi, Kot, Yalbo, mm. Dile Mara, and stuff like that. The, back in the 60s, yeah. actually, the men goes with the kids. For me, I feel like the child support is okay, so long as it's based on the basis ta, 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 how much money you make in a, in a month. And then uh, if the woman is not trying to take advantage of you, because like abortion is allowed, Nuswan Bag the Ramul abortion. But then Anna Kanalela Hamilumara Anna and Kengala Madere Marare, Anna Madere Jenna Rekereta, Allah Mara de Maburudu. And then at the same time, I will be forced to, to, to pay child support. But Nuswan, <laughs> if they tell you, hey, I'm going to abort the child, you mm-hmm. cannot say no. So when there's no foul play, I think child support is a good thing because those are, those are your own kids, and if they live actually with you, you you would pay more money. But only this foul place, yeah, yeah, gamble. A lot of people, yeah, masketir ratan al al reja reja fi fi juno binak. That's why they cannot come back because min min fi ajere min fi min fi matara toali go go bita ita madafa for this much time. Yeah, 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 and even can't again in it. I can madafa talata shar. Yeah. Bisulu, I say stake, bisulu, passport, stake. Yeah. I don't yeah. even know government that can give stake a okay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, for for me, I'm thinking from the guy's perspective. So, all mm-hmm. decide galo bre, all their cattle, but don't officially fi database there. What was his plan? Like after I killing yourself, then you 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 find somebody's identity and live with it, or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he wants to avoid the child support. Yeah, yeah. So he just become move to a different state and get another name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it. It says a lot too about the 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 like the the database system, right? Because the I think the federal system in the U.S. is all round, and then yeah. the state ones are different. So child support, I think, is state jurisdiction. So no, if you it's kill, federal. it's federal. Is it federal in the U.S.? Yeah. Okay. So it's federal. If he was killing himself I'm in not Hawaii, sure in the US, I'm not sure in the US, but I know it's federal for Canada. No, this is b- because the guy is from Kentucky, and then he went and killed himself in Hawaii. <laughs> so, 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 so it's, it's so, kind of messed up, so, right? So those must be done from the federal record there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Federal record, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when you're dead, you're dead. You're dead federally, and okay. uh, the child yeah. support is federal too because it can happen anywhere. You cannot move from one state to another to avoid ch- the child support no wherever no, you no, move, no, you you have to pay yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah 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 let's come to canada ghanaian king returns to farming in canada king figana i remember the movie coming to america starring eddie murphy as yes. a, a prince from zamunda jake the rest of mcdonald's right mm-hmm. in, in the movie well, yeah. this guy, this guy from Ghana, he's he's in Bakumba, actually close to you in Langley. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, apparently he's working to raise money to improve healthcare in his community back in Ghana. 
Isim to Eric Manu. He became the royal head of his uh, group, the uh, a subtribe of the Akan, when his uncle, who was 67 years old, died, um, then passed on the responsibility of rule, ruling the group to him. So this guy has been living in Canada for about three years, I think. Um, he has a wife, he has a baby, a Canadian wife from Saskatchewan. And, you know, so basically, I think last time also the, 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 the king of the, of, of the Ashanti, I think he was also working somewhere for, for Britain, like doing some kind of job before he became king. What is it with these Ghanaians? They don't want to enjoy royal life or what? <laughs> Bakumba, go ahead. Yeah, I think I, I think I think I think it depends on the uh, de, 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 depend on their you know so de, de, depend on their kingdom. I know those West Africans have very powerful kingdom, most mm -hmm. of them. So, so I think it de, number one it depends on their on, on on those on 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 the community, whatever the whatever that's cultural jurisdiction that they're ruling in, yeah. over, over there. So it depends on them. Maybe the, maybe the reason is coming here to 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 he's trying to raise some money to to build his community. Mm -hmm. Some of those kings, they are just kings as titles. Like most, most of most of those African kings are actually chiefs, if I say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are a lot of them that are not actually kings. So I was, was I remember also had like events a friend of mine from Cameroon here. They they, yeah. they, they, uh, they they are from the royal family, but but they were busy, they were busy fundraising so that they can build a palace in their in in, in their royal compound. Okay. So, 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 okay. Some of those things are just a t title per se. But ceremonial, yeah. Ceremonial titles, you know, we know, we, we know exactly. There's no in, uh, exact tangible money that they can be able to use to for for, for, for development as as compared to other big kings like the Ashanti Kingdom or the Baganda Kingdom. Those ones yeah. have like you know they have, they, they have they have property land that they can lease out to people and make money and collect taxes mm -hmm. actually from the land. So it depends. We need to find out what that what that kingdom in Ghana is. It could be yeah. one of those useless chiefs. I, I think I, yeah, I think this guy is actually under the Ashanti king because he comes from the Ashanti region, so okay. he's like a junior a junior king under the the, the right. greater Ashanti king. Yeah. 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 But but uh, out of curiosity, you know, we have those two kingdoms in South Sudan, the the, the Shuluk and the the Zande. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I don't know how it is for them. So if if I was to become you know king in my own village, man, I'm not going to work as a farmer in no Canada. <laughs> Michael, why do you think the guy decided to come call you here? Yeah, like uh like he said, I think uh the problem those 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 kingdoms, whatever, they just uh exist by name. Mm. Like they don't really have any royal <laughs> property, whatever that they can uh they can they can maybe generate money from. So yeah. the only yeah. way to maybe to rebuild those kingdoms is to come to a place where you can be able to raise the money and and fund that, that community there to maybe just build a small tukul to for, for because I know like like you said the Shulu Kingdom, the 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 Zande Kingdom and I think those people like Anuak or something there they have some kingdoms too. Yeah. And those people they don't really have anything. But some 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 of them maybe they will have things like uh Maybe Afgar, yeah. If you, they have cows, and and the cows are not that much that you can really build a palace. Don't, if I if don't I was a king, I'll be happy eating granites and cassava in my village, man. I don't care about that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's 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 what it is exactly. Like, yeah. I don't I don't I don't see myself if I'm a king. I don't see myself coming here just yeah. to raise fun and and suffer in this cold and stuff like that. I would be, mm. I better stay in the village. And mm -hmm. keep my title, and yeah. do even farming. Well, it a kangura fishare zare baru gal dey a king al keda keda de. If they would that pussies that nobody would see that. And yeah, the, these stories, I, I I feel like sometimes someone they they just want to undermine the Africanness because look, if you are saying a whole king, imagine the king of Britain going to South Sudan and. He starts Korojo somewhere in Gudele, you know, and, and then <laughs> saying he's going to send all these South Sudanese pawns back to London, you know, to support his family. Like, it sounds like a very ridiculous thing. But when it's reversed, it's supposed to be okay. Why? Yeah. You know? It is, I, it, is, it is true. It is true. Like, 
you don't see the reason why they will leave their their kingdomship and and come to like raise some fun here and make my why don't yeah. they they should call you for a ballot yeah the land yeah. is if you are a king you must have the land yeah yes. that's the basic thing for a kingdom is to have the land have the land so, yeah 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 and and talking about the, the the coming to America movie with the same same kind of story. Did you guys watch the second movie? Oh, no, I haven't seen the second one yet. Okay, I think it's somewhere on Netflix, but I uh, I haven't watched it too. I, I I like the first one. Anyway, let's go on to another state in America, Florida. A Florida doctor performs colonoscopy on a screaming and sedated patient. A hearing impaired doctor from uh, Flo Florida in the U.S performed colonoscopy without his hearing, hearing aids and did not hear the loud screaming from the patient who was not fully sedated. Dr. Ishwari Prasad was accused of not immediately stopping the colonoscopy when the patient become, uh, began screaming during the procedure at a medical center in Tampa last year. So basically, this doctor was forced uh, to pay no, $7,500 US dollars um, and he's not allowed to perform that procedure again. I know some of us are asking, what is a colonoscopy? Basically, a colonoscopy, it's an examination that's used to look for any abnormality in the lower part of the intestine, uh, which is the part we call the colon all the way to the rectum. And the kind of things that are looked for are to see if there's any like swelling, any irritation, and whether there are any things like what we call polyps, looking for masses that might indicate cancer. So it's usually done either by a general surgeon or a gastroenterologist. So what usually happens is that they take a tube uh, that has a camera at the tip of it and that is inserted inside to now look through to see whether there's any abnormality. Before it's done, usually, of course, uh, they take consent, uh, they talk about sedation because it can be uncomfortable, and they talk about possible uh, complications, and then the individual is given some medicine uh, to take uh, some days before to clean out the intestines so that the place is not too covered in feces to see. Bitade is, is a bit, to, to me, it sounds very invasive. So Jack Day, he decided to perform the surgery. This poor guy is on the, on the table, screaming like hell. He can't hear him. And he just went on and did whatever he did. I'm all kind of your rap, Jack Day, man. I don't even know. Was he working by himself? Mafi, uh, doctor standing around, oh, and uh, maybe nurses around him that... How did he wear those uh, ear ear pads? No, I'll put on my basma. The the patient is screaming. They're like, how did that happen? No, he didn't wear. He didn't actually wear them. That's why he wasn't hearing. I think he's an old doctor. He he got his license in 1990. So all the juice. Yeah, but good. So good, good wear, how come he can't hear? Yeah. You 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 know you can't hear when when you not you're not wearing your hearing aid when you take it out. Yeah, he has a hearing problem already. The doctor yeah, has a hearing yeah. problem. He has a hearing problem. He didn't wear his hearing aid. So when he was performing, Jake Debu Kore Kore Berutan. And then he's not even hearing a thing, you know? Oh, man. That's medical malpractice, man. That's very bad. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, I've I've seen I've seen the machines for the colonoscopy because it goes all through, right? It has a camera in it and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. So I it's haven't had any. Yeah, I haven't had any colonoscopy done on me. I don't think I'll even allow anyone to do that on me. I don't care. Let me, <laughs> let me die, man. <laughs> oh, well, if 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 the if the doctor is an experienced doctor and he knows what he's doing, I think. Yeah. Um, those people with uh, at least uh, maybe colon cancer and stuff like that, you really need that to be done to you. But uh, That's right. yeah, this, yeah. this, this okay. doctor is so weird that he he even assigned somebody to work with him who is not Lancet. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then uh, him himself into hearing problem. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know that that's like neg- negligence for me. It's just yeah. negligence at the highest yeah. degree. Yeah. 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 But on, 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 on the good side, it seems the guy did not die. The guy is yeah. rich now. So that's another that's another side of this. He might not need to work. <laughs> yeah. It's America. You know they know they know how to sue people, right? So yeah, but that doctor, that doctor is gonna he might lose his lances and then uh, yeah, yeah. And then you know if they sue him, you know those people they have insurances. It doesn't really come from his pocket. No, it doesn't yeah. come from his pocket. No, no. What I'm what, 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 what I'm saying, the patient, the patient, the patient you know, is the rich. Patient, the patient yes. is rich. He might not need to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I think somebody will be like, oh, I had this story. I also need to go perform a have a colonoscopy done by the same doctor. Let him not wear his hearing aid so I can get dollars and move to South Sudan. Change it, yeah. you know, and have a good life. Good. Let's finalize with a sports story from South Sudan. South Sudan will play the Republic of Congo in Brazzaville. Uh, they will be locking horns with the Republic of South Africa, Congo Brazzaville, which is the Republic of Congo, and our neighbors, Uganda, for the top spot in Group K of the 2025 African Cup of Nations. So the first game is coming up on September 5th. And they'll play it in the Republic of Congo at the Alphonse Masamba Stadium in Brazzaville. Then on the 10th of September, they'll be back to Juba to play South Africa at Juba National Stadium. Of course, we at Yazol wish them all the best of luck and hope that this time they learn a lesson from the basketball team. You know, we want to go to Morocco to cheer them in December next year when the African Cup is being played. So let's hope South Sudan really does go through and uh, we support them. Any thoughts, guys? Bakumba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, 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 we always support the, the, the national team because that's the that, 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 that's the national duty to support the team. We need to support the team. The only sad part is that, that, that that's a very tough, tough group. Yes, we just, just, just to let to let to let the fans know that's a very, very tough group. Congo 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 Brazil is not a DVT. South Africa is not a pushover. Uganda yeah. is not a pushover. So we are in a very tough in a very tough group who are the bad. You know what? On a, on a, if we can pull out a win somewhere, pull a draw here, get it's all about accumulating points. So yeah. if, if we can su- 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 survive even two games, then we're we good to go. But yeah, but it's just, it's just it's a very tough group, very tough group. Yeah, but we wish we wish them all the best. We wish them, we wish your team all the best. Yeah, yeah, Michael. Eh? Yeah, I think it's all the same. It's just behind. It's 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 about uh, rallying behind the the national team as. South Sudanese, I think uh, it's uh, we are obligated to to really support as as a nation. Mm-hmm. The only thing, like uh, my brother just said here, Bakumba is is for them to really be very technical. Like teams like South Africa, Congo Brazzaville, Uganda, those people they they have been in the game for a very long time. They have players that are playing overseas, probably yeah, uh, a lot of international. So. Probably, I don't know, South Sudan can do any international player. I don't know, but um, we really, really, really have to, like, come technically with, at least to advance to the second stage. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's the only thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah we wish them all the best. And, um, yeah, uh, they beat Congo Brazzaville, come to Juba, beat South Africa then, of course will stand a chance when we play Uganda. Yes. Otherwise, we wish them all the best. Uh, from Yazol and from all of us here, we wish them all the best and good luck in Brazzaville on this on the 5th of September. Hopefully, there's a way to watch them. When they come to Juba, I hope everybody comes out and big time they go to Juba National Stadium and support this team. We need South Sudan on the map for good reasons, you know. So that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you again next Sunday, 8 p.m. That's when the next episode will be out, every Sunday, 8 p.m. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Uh, This has been the Yazol podcast from Vancouver, DJ Bakumba, and from Edmonton, myself, and DJ Michaele, wishing you all the best out there. Um, Bakumba. You want to say something? Just a goodbye to the country. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys are yeah. It's always good to catch up in this in this platform. 
yeah, make sure you you guys join us every weekend, every other weekend, so that you know we can be able to give you the juicy news. We have a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of things. Join our mm-hmm. page, subscribe, you know, be engaged, be engaged online, and we learn from each other. Yeah, you guys, yeah. I'm, I hope everyone have a good week. Yeah, and Michael, it's been a good time having you around for the first time, and we look forward to having you here again. Selim Unas, say goodbye. Yeah, Sana be Selim Naskulu, and uh, like uh, Bakumba just said, I think uh, we wanted to see them advance, and uh, maybe it will give us a chance to go and see Morocco around 2025. So subscribe, like, and share the video, please. And let's try to motivate each other. I think uh, that's the only place that we will listen to each other and we will see each other for, through the platforms like this one. So yeah. good luck. Yeah. And you know, from me, as a tradition, we always give in the end to hear like, all the sports people who are doing so much amazing work to support South Sudan. And may God bless South Sudan. Azul.